Good evening everyone. Welcome to this Good Friday service. I hope and pray that you are well and that uh, as we draw near to this Easter season, you yourself may be encouraged and strengthened in your faith in the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today Christians around the world will stop what they're doing so that they might think again upon the day that changed the world. In a small backwater town, part of the Roman Empire, nearly 2,000 years ago, a condemned man was led out to be crucified. The witnesses of that barbaric event didn't realise what was happening really on that day. They didn't realise that this one man's death was going to bring to the world eternal life for every person. We call this day Good Friday. For that very reason, the greatest act of good occurred when Jesus Christ, the Son of God, laid down his life and suffered and died on our behalf. Paul assures us that this demonstrates to us the power and the love of Christ in God our Father. In Romans in chapter 5 we read, You see at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Let us pray. On this Good Friday, our Father in heaven, we come with grateful thanks for the amazing act of love demonstrated and proclaimed to the world in the life and suffering of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you so much again that you did not withhold your only begotten Son, but gave him up freely for us all. Thank you such is the generosity of your nature, such is the grace with which you have lavished upon us. We thank you that we who are sinners, we who are far from you, we who are lost, Lord Jesus Christ, you came to seek and to save and to give your life as a ransom for many. Pray that this Good Friday, as we consider the wonder of the cross, the wonder of your love, the wonder of all that you accomplished on that day nearly 2,000 years ago, as we think upon the impact not only upon the world, but upon our own personal lives. We pray again that, Lord Jesus, the power of the cross may be real to us, that we may feel the force of it, the wonderful cleansing that it brings, the forgiveness, the peace, the pardon, the life. Oh Lord, may this be to us a very special time. And may we again, oh Lord, be those who forever and for eternity give thanks for the cross of Jesus Christ your Son, in whose name we ask this now. Amen. We're going to sing together a wonderful new Easter hymn that we know. Oh, to see the dawn of the darkest day. Then after that, we'll have a few folk who will read to us uh, the account of Jesus' death from the Gospel of John in chapter 19, if you want to get that ready. Then later on, uh, I'll be preaching from Isaiah 53 as we get to the very heart of what Jesus' death means for us. I'll speak to you in a few moments' time. Bye-bye. 